To write the formula for zinc phosphide, the first thing we need to do is write the element symbols. So we have zinc, that's Z, N, and then phosphide, this ends in IDE. So it's just going to be phosphorus. If this was ATE, then we'd have this PO4, 3 minus, or if it was ITE, that would also be a polyatomic ion, PO3, 3 minus. But just the IDE, that's this single element. So we have the symbols here, the element symbols for zinc phosphide. Because we have a metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound, and we need to take into consideration the ionic charge. Let's look on the periodic table. So zinc is kind of special. It's right here. It's in with these transition metals, but zinc is always going to be 2 plus. So we have a 2 plus for zinc. Phosphorus over here, group 13, sometimes called 3A, right below nitrogen, it's going to be 3 minus. So we have the ionic charge for each of these elements here in zinc phosphide. Because zinc phosphide is a neutral compound, it doesn't say ion after the name here, we know that these charges are going to all have to add up to zero. But the problem is with 2 plus and 3 minus, that's a little bit difficult. We can use what's called the crisscross method to help us out. We can move the 3 down here and the 2 here, get rid of these symbols. And this is the formula for zinc phosphide, Zn3P2. But let's check our work. We said zinc was 2 plus and the phosphide ion, 3 minus. So 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. These two numbers, 6 plus, 6 minus, they add up to 0. The net charge is 0. This is the correct formula for zinc phosphide. This is Dr. B with the formula for zinc phosphide, Zn3P2. Thanks for watching.